Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. How cute is this? This is my little love box. This is a sending love box because it's got sending love paper and dies and stamps on it, but it's a fold flat box. So if you are somebody who likes to make lots of boxes in advance, but you don't want to store them, this is a perfect one for you because it folds flat. Now the lid doesn't fold flat and I will explain that when I come to that point, but you can make it, you do make it so that it folds flat. I bedeared it here and here um, uh, for the purposes because otherwise it gapes but I'll explain that but it's so cool because it folds flat love it we love a storage solution or a storage issue not an issue and this little envelope so cute it's got a little message on it sending love so I'm going to show you how to make it now the finished dimensions of the box are can't remember three and a half by two and a half by one inch which is nine by six and a half by two and a half centimeters and you can get two of these from one sheet of cardstock yay gotta love it so we we're covering all sorts of issues today we're covering story solutions and we're covering frugal okay let me put that to one side so my piece of cardstock beautiful real red it's eight by five and a half inches which is 20 and a half by 14 centimeters and let me grab my stylus on the long side we're going to score the long side first score it at one inch three and a half four and a half and seven inches which in metric is two and a half nine eleven and a half and eighteen and then whiz it round and score it at one and four and a half inches which is two and a half and eleven and a half now we we do need to put some more score lines in oh i put my ruler away i had it out and then i put it away so there you go you've got my bicep sorry <laughs> stretching my arm across so we've got these six squares that are in that are on the outside that are around the outside edge and we're going to put diagonal lines from the corners in um, and you, what you need to do is have all of your diagonal lines facing in so we're going to have some that are in the wrong direction or so it's going to feel so those ones are pointing in Okay, hopefully you can see that. There you go. Yes, you can. So they're pointing in. Oh, we've got some sun. Oh, that was unexpected. These ones here in the centre square, let me tip that. We're going to have those pointing in as well. Unexpected sun. Let me tip that. There you go. So you can see I've got my diagonal lines are pointing in now this one we need these pointing in as well so when it's finished it is going to look like it's the wrong way around but promise you it's not it's the right way so they're pointing into the middle i need to put, almost get some shade on here sun go away <laughs> so they're pointing down to the middle now this part is going to be the top i tip it that way you can oh there we go they're pointing in to this one. This is going to be the bottom of the box. This is going to be the top. So we need to separate there and there. We're going to put, um, we're going to snip that there and there. So I'm going to do it before I fold it, just so you can see it, because I've managed to find the right angle with the light. There, and then again, not these ones that are pointing in together, but this one here separate that I, you see the sun's going to go now and then i'll be all confused so i've shown you now so that's where you're cutting that's all the cutting you need to do right so come along and burnish all your score lines don't worry about the diagonals just for the moment we'll come back to them in a second i love this style of box i love it because it's easy storage and this is a really good one if you are somebody who hand makes other things. So for my soap maker friends or those who make candles, these are brilliant boxes because, you know, if you're making a handmade soap or handmade candle, you're probably going to be making the box as well because I know from um, many, many soapers and chandlers who shop with me that actually they make unique sized products, but you can't buy unique sized boxes. And so they make them themselves. Right, I've just bent my score line in, my diagonal one in, and I'm just, not that you can see very well, but I'm just reinforcing it with my bone folder. So that's the lid. And there's the inside. 
and this is going to be the bottom of the box. And you see, the thing is with a box like this, that this is great if you're doing a birthday party for one of your children or grandchildren and they've got lots of guests coming. And so you kind of need to make this in advance because on the day of the party you can't be making it because you're making sandwiches and jelly and ice cream and stuff. Um, so you can make them in advance and have them put away. Love it. There we go. So that is how my box is coming together. So this lid part you can see is separated and the bottom. So that's going to fold up like that. So where do you put your adhesive? Let's hope you can see. So now we've created what essentially are two triangles in each of these squares. The triangle that is closest to the middle is where you're going to put your adhesive. So, and I can't, oh it's there in front of me. <laughs> so I'm going to grab my fuse. Oops, let me just do it this way around. So all of these triangles that are closest to the middle. So you can see my blobs of glue. Okay, and you just simply fold it over completely flat, push down, and it's just that triangle that has caught, which means it's going to fold up like that. Now you do exactly the same at the top half. So you come to the corner that is closest to the middle. and fold it over however and it will pop up like that so this is the point you'd stop if you were doing a storage thing so it folds flat like that however when you come to put the box together it gapes like that so you do want to put a couple of bits of extra adhesive in there and there but we'll do that in a second when we come to finish when we finish it up so I'm going to put my DSP and just get the right bit that's the top so I've got a little panel, and this, I love the sending lock paper, let me grab it. This is how much I love it, I've shredded one, one just to get all the bits out. But you get six sheets of each of the patterns, rather than the usual four. But it's just lovely. I love the fact that you've got that in white, or you've got, uh, sorry, red on white, but you've also got it in white on red. So there you go, so you've got opposites. Oh, this one's so cute. I've got this coming up in a project, um, another project that I've got set to one side to do. So my little panel measures three and a quarter by two and a quarter inches, which in metric is eight and a half by six centimetres. I love the whole of the Sending Love Suite. Um, it was showcased at um, our annual event in November and it was just there were so many different things you could make with it so love it okay I'm going to pop a little handy thumb hole thingy there like I've got there just so that you're not wrecking you know you're not having to stick your fingernails underneath so I've just got what have I got my half inch circle punch there we go and what I like as I said before when you close it up it would gape here and you don't want it to gape so liberally apply adhesive to the whole of the square, even though it's a triangle shape, but do the whole of the square, get your thumbs in and push. But like I said, if you're making loads of these in advance, um, you only do this point at the point that you're ready to put all your gorgeous treats and goodies and yummies and stuff in there. And it's now staying shut. Marvellous. Right, let me get some ribbon on. Also from the Sending Love Suite. Should I show you the page? Have you got your catalogues? Has everybody got a copy of the catalogue? If you haven't, let me know. I can send them to the UK, obviously, where I'm based, but also France, Holland, Austria and Germany. France, Holland, Austria. Yeah, France, the Netherlands, Austria and Germany. So if you're outside of those countries, I can't send them to you. Unfortunately, if you're in America, find a demo in the US. If you're in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, find somebody in those locations. Um, and also Japan. We have demonstrators in Japan now. Right. Oh. Me, bows, never a good combination. It's my nails are too long. Oh, but it's really quite pretty. Look at that, and not too much wastage. Right, so now 
I'm going to make this little part here and I love it. So we've got the Love Notes framelits and there are loads of them. It's possibly better if I show you off the catalogue um, rather than my jumbled up mess because I've used it so much. So that's the page. So it's page 14 and 15 and it's a whole suite that's gorgeous. And those are the framelits down there. So you get a couple of these little envelopes and then you get all of these stamps to match, so you can buy it as a uh, as a bundle. Where's the bundle? Down there. And they all go together. Love, 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 love. Right, so a bit of stamp first. Oh, I didn't get the stamp set out. Didn't I? No, I didn't. There we go. No, no, I did. I just don't know what I've done with it. Um, it's not in front of me. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, it's under, <laughs> I've got it out for another project. It's in a different pile. So I'm gonna go this time with Love Note. So on the first one here, I've, I stamped Sending Love and then the little hearts, but I'm actually gonna do a different one. So I'm gonna go with Love Note. So you stamp first. And obviously it's photopolymer, so you could, you could die cut first, but I'm not. Stamp first. What block? Um, that's a C block. That's a really good versatile block. Pool party. Mostly, actually, I'm using the pool party because Stampin' Up! did it in all their samples, and I, I thought that was great. So just onto a little bit of Whisper White. I need to pull out my framelits, so I'm going to go with this one because you'll see it shapes perfectly round it and also the larger envelope. I think my little bit of pool party might not be, I can probably just about get that on. Okay, so over here, I have got, oops, my Big Shot platform with the thin die adapter. Whoopsie, one cutting plate. Actually, I need the magnetic platform because I've got stamping first. So, magnetic platform, cutting plate, and I'm going to position this. Love it. And there we go, that's going to go on perfectly. Cutting plate on the top, and then I've got my big shot, but it's out of view at the moment, so I could bring it in, but I'd probably take out the tripod, so I won't. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to because, oops, that was my precision base plate because I've just nailed this. I just messed up the alignment of um, the love note. Yeah, I've just dropped my, my precision base plate on the floor. Whoopsie. There we go. If you're new to a big shot, that cracking is normal. Um, it's not anything actually cracking, it's just a sound. And these plates, these cutting plates, have got a lot of give in them. So that sound is normal. two frame let's put back in the packet move those out of the way so there are little score lines on the envelopes so just gently follow three of them because obviously we're not completely closing it we want to have the decoration popping out and then I found that mini glue dots are the best so I take the skinny left to right ones first And fold that over and then one on this little bottom panel and fold it up snail or fuse or something on the back position it where you want it to go I love that bow oh look I'm gonna mangle it now I better not touch it <laughs> little love notes slip it in there and then I love these embellishments, sending love embellishments. I sent a lovely little kit out to everybody who came shopping with me in December. And um, the kit that we put together, the card has been on my blog. And everybody got one of these in here somewhere. And I just think they're so cute. These open ones, you need a tiny little dab of glue rather than a glue dot. Oops. 
you just need a little little hint of glue and then just to hold that down for a second and there's one and there's the other aren't they lovely and like I say two from one sheet of cardstock oh that's a 15 minute video oh that's longer than I was expecting I hope you think it's worth it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon.